memories of Hebrew school as a child. I remember feeling bored quite often. I didn't learn much beyond just how to read and say the Aleph Bet. I wanted my children to have a different Hebrew school experience than I had growing up. We took this as an opportunity to reconceive of the entire learning experience. Combined Jewish Philanthropies has been a tremendous partner to us in this endeavor. CJP has really given the Temple Beth Shalom community a beautiful gift. MIAM is a experiential and project-based learning curriculum that is totally new on the synagogue educational scene. Temple Beth Shalom is one of Jewish Learning Connections pilot sites. My favorite thing is the projects and that I get to be with my friends. We want to ensure that the learning that goes on is deep and impactful and helps them learn how to incorporate their Judaism into their lives. Project-based learning is different and unique because it's entirely learner-driven. It's fun. MIME would not have happened and launched so successfully without our partners at CJP. They really invited us to dream big and then sought to support our making those dreams real. My kids are excited to attend. I don't have to peel them out of bed. I love mine. Thirty-six percent of all the children and youth in Israel are living under the poverty line. We established a task force that consisted of experts in different areas of education. We got to the conclusion that missing link is actually the parents. We're talking about working with parents from the first pregnancy up until the child is six years old to give and provide the parents uh, the knowledge and the information that they need in order to be a better, better parents. This project is uh, very innovative, creative, and uh, it is a new model. Now I feel a better mother and I'm not alone anymore. The generosity of the CGP and the Jewish community actually enable us to support this program and create a change in Israel. Looking at their faces is so meaningful. I'm sure that we are on the right pace. The unemployment rate for individuals with disabilities is still very high, and there's a social responsibility within the community to find a way to come up with solutions for that. Transitions to work takes a whole new approach. We try and match the individuals with their abilities to the job, and we've had great success. So the name of the place that I'm working is Treats Coffee Shop. CJP has been instrumental in moving this program forward and finding other partners who can engage with us. When we look at the need for employment for people with disabilities, we need to bring together funders, we need to bring together employers, businesses, and thinkers who can all figure out the best way to do this. When we were approached by the Ruderman Foundation and CJP about this Transitions to Work program, we were very eager to participate. This is uh, a part of the workforce that has not been fully utilized, and we have found the workers that we've hired to be reliable, focused on their work, patient. Our hopes for Gabe are really the same as what they are for our other kids. We wanted them to have a place to live, interests, people to pursue them with, and work that he's happy to go to. His participation in transitions has really been the fulfillment of that dream. Have a nice day. <laughs> <laughs>